Lazarus on the net Cardi and caviar Pull up on you, where you at? I don't care how far you up Baby, drop your location I'm pulling up on you Man, it's your girl Tampa Mystic, and we are live on the industry's most wanted podcast. Listen, I got a special guest checking in today, but I'm gonna need him to go ahead and introduce himself. Marcel, what's going on, bro? What up, though? It's Marcel Anthony from Detroit City. Mm, I appreciate you being here. Give me some love. What's up, Boom. All right. What up, though? Transferring all that good energy, positive vibes. You went over through the over the river through the woods to get here, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely did. But you guys made it here safe. That's all that matters to me. Absolutely. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like God is good. God is good because there's a lot of crazy people out here driving. But without further ado, man, who is uh, Marcel Anthony? Marcel Anthony is singer, songwriter, actor, uh, soon to be producer, uh, film writer. I'm trying to put my hands in, in, in many places. So. Facts. That's what you got to do. We got to have multiple hustles, right? Yeah, absolutely. We especially, get, in, especially in entertainment business. Especially in entertainment we business. We're doing one thing. So Absolutely. And I think that this business is seasonal, meaning that there are going to be slower seasons than others. Right. So when this is slow, then you focus on this that's picked up and vice versa. You got to know what you, you got to be around the right people to even be able to have those opportunities too, though. Absolutely. Uh, so you can't be closed minded. Facts. Absolutely correct. So let's uh, let's just take it back so people can understand your journey. Is that cool? Yeah, please. You were born, you said, in Detroit City? Detroit City. So what's the difference between Detroit and Detroit City? Put me on game. Detroit and Detroit City. <laughs> nah, uh, it's, it's no difference. I mean, I'm, I'm just I'm just saying Detroit City because... It's the city of Detroit? It's the city of... It's, you saying the city of Detroit. No, nah, I mean, Detroit, Michigan. Um... You know, I mean, it's it's. I was I was I was born and raised in Detroit. I got you. Uh, I've been there all my life. Um, went to school and 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 uh the, on the east side, and you know, from from about six years old to today, I've been just like in the music, in the music, like just putting myself in in motions where I could stand out with the music. Absolutely, you know? Detroit breeds superstars. Yeah, man, Motown. Absolutely. It breeds superstars. And, you know, there's a lot of independent artists that I've actually worked with or done interviews from outside the city. As of lately, I've done probably three different interviews in the last two months from Detroit, and all of them have huge talent. Yeah. And it, that Detroit got a lot of talent. It do got a lot of talent. And they starting, they starting to actually put the eye back back on Detroit. I'm yeah. not going to, I can't necessarily say it's, uh, cause we got a lot of, we got a lot of great, um, um, R&B artists, but right now we got, you know, artists like, um, Vez and 42 Doug and, yeah. you know, Big Sean that's, you know, putting on for the city a different way with, you know, um, the, the, the rap scene. So absolutely. I, I connected with a uh, Detroit Zeus fairly recently and he's an R and B artist out there and he's got some nice talent as well. So I was like, man, it's just good to see that people are really putting on for their city. Yeah. You know, big yeah. facts. So let's take it back though. You know, you growing up there, take us through that journey of go from childhood into when you started doing music. Well, childhood into music. Well, I could say one thing is I was, I was raised in a, uh, a, a, a child, a very, a very, um, a very welcoming home. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, I was, I was raised to uh, uh, do the right thing or I was, I was raised to always uh, uh, be around the right people. So my grandma always had me in church and I started singing when I was like five years old. She always had me in the choir and it kind of took, I just went from there. You know what I mean? Then after after I, I would say maybe, I would say maybe when I got into high school, and and, and the females started, you know, <laughs> noticing that I could sing. And the females always got that influence. Yeah, I was about fifteen years old when I really st when I really realized that yo, this is this is what I want to do. This is this is my talent. People telling me that yo, this is what you got to do. You can sing. So absolutely, and when the ladies chime in, it's a wrap. Then you know, hey, I'm doing the right, right thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out to your grandmother, too. There's something so special about grandmothers, right? Yeah, man. She, she always been a special person. She always made sure that um 
uh, even if even if it was good or good or bad, man, she was always on my side. Absolutely, she made sure I did the right thing. So grandmothers do that; they always yeah, will have your shout back. Shout out to my grandmother. Man. Shout out, shout out to your grandmother, Aretha Cunningham. Shout out to yeah. Aretha. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Most definitely. So, um, I know you said that you started singing at a young age. Mm-hmm. What were some of your favorite songs to sing as you was growing up? You know what? Um, and the the era where I was really getting into the music, that sound. Uh, you know, Mario came out around that time. Okay. You had some of the B two Ks and the yeah. Sammies, and the, so I was, I was, I was, uh, I was tapping into that sound at that mode. But I was, I was raised around a lot of old school. Okay. You know, a lot of old school talent. So I was, I was hearing the Marvin Gaye's in the house and the. Ooh, timeless. You know, yeah. So I <laughs> the Al Greens, the Luther Vandross, yeah, you know, and all I that. Picked, I picked up on that. <laughs> you know, so my style is. My style is definitely Motown, but you know, with with the original with the original me, put a lot more on it. Can you give me a little something, something? Absolutely. What you want? My new single is out, man. Yeah, I, go I, ahead and give us your single. The new single, uh, pulling up by uh, Dre Butters. I can give you a little sample of that. Yeah, go give us a little, a little sample. Like, um, it's a vibe. I'ma pull a Mimi outside. Come hop in a ride. You don't want to leave me alive. There we go. That was beautiful. Thank you. I you got a voice that. on you, bro. No. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going we gonna to just flip it for a, a brief second. One of them greatest. Give us a little bit of somebody else, if you don't mind. I just want to hear your range. Like a little, um. You know, like whether it's Marvin Gaye or, you know, whoever one of them people was. You know what I'm saying? a little bit of, uh. There's a ribbon in the sky for a long. You just made my night, bro. You did really? that. Yes. Okay, okay, Listen, I'm then. such a sucker for people who can actually sing <laughs> because I'm not at all against or opposed auto tunes. Not at all. Like as long as you use it in moderation, right? Yeah, I mean we we it's auto tune is completely different from pitch control. Right. And if you can actually sing without anything, mm-hmm. I'm a sucker for that. Well yeah. Like <laughs> I said, I was raised in church, so Yeah, absolutely. Most you definitely had to be able to do that. Shout out to your grandmother once again, you know. Man, absolutely, man. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know where I would be today if it wasn't for that woman. Yeah. You know, I mean my, my parents was always around, but she really made sure that oh you this is this she embedded that in me absolutely you know what i mean absolutely spirituality and all so right it just means a lot definitely because they have so much wisdom and they've seen a lot yeah i mean cuz the streets could have really just you know took control of me Right. Absolutely. And, you know, thank God, you know, your grandmother stepped in and she took control, wrapped her arms around you and said, come on, baby, we're going to church today. Absolutely. (laughs) Really, really, really thankful for that. That is so dope. So let's talk about, you know, your journey through music. When you first started, when would you say was the point when you started taking it real seriously? Uh, About six years ago, man, about seven years ago when I met. I met Big Vaughn, man. Okay. I met my manager, Big Vaughn, uh, in Atlanta. Yeah. I came out. This is when I was, like, really going through the the friends that was trying to be managers. And Oof. I was going through it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and um, I was taking myself real serious, man, spending a lot of money. Right. In places where I shouldn't have been spend, spending money at. It for sure happens. And, We've um, all been there, done that. <laughs> the, connect, the connection was crazy, man, because um, a friend of mine, you know, back back in Detroit, you know, his, his mother knew a friend of uh, Big Vines, and it, it just the, the connection was crazy. I came out to Atlanta to uh, do a commercial, and from then we've been locked in, man. And that was that was 2015. Man, that is a blessing when you got somebody in your corner that not only understands the business as well as he does, but genuinely wants to see you rise up. Absolutely, that's a, man. that's a blessing, and that's rare. Shout out to my manager, Big Vine. Shout out to Big Vine. Shout out to my brother, Big Vine. <laughs> Definitely, um, yeah, man, he and, be on me too. And that's good. You need someone who's gonna stay on you. It's different, I, you know. And I recommend anybody that's out here, um, you know, moving around in the game, gotta have people around you that's not letting you just do you. Man, absolutely, because we could do something that we think is all right. Gotta have you right, the right people around you. I, I would, I would <laughs> tell you because 
like I said, I was spending a lot of money in the wrong places. Right. Absolutely. You know we got to have that person that's going to keep us in check. Absolutely. Shout out to OG Bigger Rankin. That's who keeps me in check. That's my mentor, my OG in this business. And there's been plenty of times where I'll post something or whatever, and he'll pick up the phone and call me and say, no, nah, take that down. That's not for the world to see. Yeah. I'm like, okay, my bad. <laughs> and you know what? You take that, you take that, and you you acknowledge where you know where those people yes understand that. Yeah, we respect you know I mean? that because they really want the best for us, mm -hmm. most definitely. So you know, connecting with Big Vaughn and and having him start into the management role, how has that helped you? Oh man, I've 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 went from literally um, thinking I knew what the hell I was doing. <laughs> To doing what I was supposed to do, man. There you, you know, go. Uh, I was I was releasing music without uh, having my paperwork together. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he, he just saved me from a lot of that. He made sure even before he started working with me, he was like, "Look, man, you got to go get your stuff right first, man. You can't just be <laughs> dropping music, and, right? You know." So it's 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 not even for. I mean, he's he's just put me on different platforms. You know, we got a movie coming out. Man, congratulations. If y'all don't know That's anything big. about Toxanity, y'all make sure y'all go check Toxanity out, man. It's a very, 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 very dope um, movie. It's, it's, it's directed by Big Fine as well. Amazing. And um, it's got the craziest concept, man. I mean, we're talking about women abusing men. What is your role in the movie? My role in the movie? Um, I'm a kidnapper. You, what? I'm a, I'm a kidnapper in the movie, man. That's exciting, kind of though, in a weird way. Like, don't, I'm a cool kidnapper though. That's crazy. Not that I'm trying to get kidnapped, but women have fantasies. I ain't gonna lie. You know what? You, I believe you. I believe you. But I, I'm, I'm a kidnapper in the movie. Um, Y'all need to go check that out too. It's on, it's on YouTube right now. Oh, that's really dope. I'm gonna most definitely on, check it out. Soon to be on uh, Tubi and Tubi other platforms. And, yeah. But right now we are we we are going back to um shoot a whole featured film on the movie because people just been they've been loving what they've been seeing they like yo y'all got to come back with that the demand um, is there yeah so shout out to big vine doing that as well man with his with his film film writing and yes congratulations on the that first film i've been in and i'm finna i'm gonna keep it moving <laughs> man i like acting and i was just gonna ask you that have you been featured in another film so this is your first one this is the first you've now fallen in love with it i have fallen in love with it i like being a character i like being able to um, get into a a role and be that person would you say that you could be one of those actors that could capture and just dominate multiple types of characters absolutely okay because i mean uh not only was i in church but my grandma had me in drama and dance and this. shout out to granny man yeah man she made sure <laughs> your, your boy pursued his dreams in some type I of i love way. it you absolutely so i had skills i was working with the people's ensemble when i was um 12. Wow. 12 years old. That's amazing because, you know, you think about some of these actors that are out there, like a Denzel, Washington for, a Denzel Washington. I couldn't see him playing, like, any other role than, like, kind of that tough guy Just that he always plays. all the time? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I couldn't see him in a real funny comedy type role. But you know there's certain roles that I wouldn't play either. And I think, I think that also goes with who you uh, want to see yourself as a character. Yeah. You know what I Would mean? you play a comedy role? Are you funny? Heck yeah, I'll play comedy. I think I'm funny. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> we always doing something crazy. So, yeah. I'm actually um about to start doing skits on my social media anyway. So, I'm, I'm going to definitely add some comedy into it because... Man. I'm, I'm stupid for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing. On our social media, we have to give them different sides of us. Yeah, because that's where we were just talking about with the whole uh, not being stuck in one right. place. Right, absolutely. Because if it's not working here, then you got to figure out you know your next move and in, in, in entertainment everything is changing everything absolutely is changing, so. and you're multi-talented so you want to show them all I'm sides of that gonna, i'm gonna give it to them i'm <laughs> acting singing <laughs> dancing i just was dancing in the video i ain't did that let me so find out i'm doing it <laughs> i'm doing it um being in this first movie role what did you really learn from it um i was around i was around new activity so being around you know uh uh, being around different actors and seeing how they carry themselves, and, yeah, um, it, it just gives you something something else to you know want to step into. Absolutely, it's a whole different job. Yeah, you know what I mean. But it's very, very. How can I put it? Um, it, it 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 makes it 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 puts you in it puts you in position to 
Stay busy. Absolutely. Yeah, that's Stay you. Stay busy. Filming, like you, you got to constantly. Mind, yeah, man, your mind got to be, uh, um, you have to be able to even be able to to lock in with these different scripts. And yeah. Reading scripts is not the same as reading a book. L- let's talk about that real quickly, okay? Because my attention span and my memory is like not that great, uh-huh. right? <laughs> right. For anybody who's aspiring to get into acting now that you've conquered your first role, what would be a tip or a piece of advice that you could offer them to remember their scripts? Man, you can't be distracted by the stuff around you for real. Like you got to, if you're an actor, you got to make sure that, you know, that's what you're doing. You yeah. got to make sure you are into that role. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you take that role, you got to be into it. That character really has to be you. You know what I mean? So acting, you know, I mean, if, if that's not, if that's something that, if that's something that you really want to do, you you have to be sure of uh, not wanting to be distracted by the you know the people around you. And yeah. It, when you gotta learn the script, man, you gotta you gotta learn it. Absolutely. But so you don't want to be scripted either, though. You gotta make sure that you have some type of natural. You gotta add your own little twist yeah, onto it. Yeah, and I think uh, most films are that way. Like it's not exactly verbatim. You gotta uh, add your own little naturally, twist on there. Naturally, people go for people that are good with improv. And, yes. You know what I'm saying? I could always remember. Like I liked <laughs> I liked watching uh, Friday because I knew that Day Day. You know what I mean? Uh, he 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 made it look like. It was so it was natural. natural. Yeah, absolutely. But a lot of that was improv. Right. Absolutely. So with that being said, before you started filming, how long did you prepare for learning your roles? Man, Big Vaughn gave me that uh, that script maybe the two days before <laughs> I did it. I was on it. I was on it. You know, it wasn't I didn't have to I didn't have to do too much, but I took it serious. I don't care if it's five lines absolutely you know what I mean? absolutely I take it i'll take it whatever i'm doing i just take it serious i'm picking your brain because i got casted for a film and i've got three scenes in it and none of them are super long they're probably each one is maybe like five or six lines uh-huh. and i'm like do i start studying for it now because it's like a couple <laughs> months down the road i'm like no nah, I'm, I'm like you like i kind of work great under pressure oh yeah nah, so like maybe that is- week four before i'm gonna really be busting through it and going through it because if i try to learn it now two months from now it's gonna be out the window <laughs> or you might just be into in character too long huh right that was, that's what was wrong with the, the joker dude right yeah he was in character too long and got to doing the wrong thing and- right so i was just trying to pick your brain you know whether you knew it or not i was like those gyms were for me <laughs> wow <laughs> You didn't That's even know. What's up, man. <laughs> well, you got you some juice. I right did. Kid. Appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now nah, that's dope. So, um, what about putting your music into film? Oh man. Luckily, um by us by this film company uh being somewhat of, you know, me being a partner in it, my music is already placed in it. That is amazing. I mean? So that's that's like a Automatic placement for me. Period. But, uh, <laughs> yes, I know but that's even right. Even with other films, you know, it's, it's not. It's not. I got the. I got the guy that's gonna go to the people. Yeah. You know what I mean. So you've got you've got the right people around you. Yeah. Especially your manager. Got the right people around. Me. And that matters. It does. Let's I mean, talk about that. It would have happened without that. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? Absolutely. What does it mean to you to have the right team of people around you? I mean, when I was doing it my, myself. I wasn't really getting nowhere. Yeah. You know, it was always a. Like a hamster wheel. It. Yeah, you know. It was, Being it was on the tra- treadmill. It was a treadmill thing. Yeah. You got to have a team, man. And it's true when they say there's no I in team. You yeah. have to have a team. You can't be 10 people at one time. That's it's right. It's very overwhelming. Yes. And it is not smart. No. It's not smart, man. You got to let people wear their hats. Man. Yes. You know, if I'm the singer, then I'm going to be the singer. Yeah. You're going to be the manager. Yeah. They go be the producer. Absolutely. That person go be the creative director. Yes. That person go do this. You got to have a team, man. I'm not going to put it all on my back no more. Never. No. And it's, I ain't going to get nowhere like that. It's it's tough, though, because it's tough to build a solid team because a lot of people don't want to work as hard as we do, and they don't see our vision the way we do. Hey, we've been going through that for the last few months, man. Everybody not go um, see your vision yeah. the way that you see it. But that doesn't necessarily mean – that you're not supposed to have a team. You Absolutely. know what I mean? That's why you have to have the right people. The right you. people that dominate their to, role. Yeah, <laughs> they, have to, they have to dominate their role and not, you know, try to step outside what they're here for. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And that's, yeah. that's kind of where, um, that's kind of where things get, 
twist it up at, man. Just, you know, everybody do their job. We go get there. Most definitely. Take us back to the first project that you released. What was the title of it? Um, Let Me Breathe. Let's talk Let about it. Let Me Breathe. How long Detroit ago was Sada that? Baby. Uh, I believe that was uh, 2001. I mean, I'm sorry, 2000, uh, that was last year, 2021. I was going to say 2001. Hold on a second. I'm tripping. You look too young to be putting an album out <laughs> like uh, 21 years ago. I'm tripping. Let me breathe. <laughs> it's, it's, that was um, uh, produced by uh, my, one of my homeboys, uh, Collision. My homeboy, Collision, produced that. You know, we went and got uh, Sada Baby on it, shot the video, put it out. It did pretty good. Definitely. So from that... Until now, how many singles have you released? I've released. Uh, I'm at the. I'm at my fifth single now. Okay. Just, yeah. We just released pulling up. Just released pulling up last week Friday. So, yeah, it's the fifth single. It's a brand new record. Working on um an EP. The EP is actually done. But okay. You know what I'm I'm a, I'm gonna keep that in the safe until. That's in the vault. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that in the vault until my people tell me to bring <laughs> it out. Man. I'm gonna keep dropping singles. Right. That's what you have to do. Most definitely. You have to wait until there's a, a big demand there because, you know, even yeah. if it's an EP and it's only four or five songs, you know, it's a lot more to push four or five songs than it is to push just one. I was stuck on. I wanted to give people a, a body of work. But, yeah. You know, I realized that I could just keep dropping singles and it's still a body of work. I'm going to take you all on the journey with just singles. Listen, absolutely. I think you're doing it the completely the right way. Cause I, and I understand a lot of artists have so much music in the vault that they just want to put it out there. Yeah. But you want to do it strategically in the right way. And we are the right way. we're in a content era, so you can be you can release a new single every month, really. <laughs> yeah, you that's know? what people have been doing too. But yeah. Sometimes, um sometimes when you do that, it also it also could 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 be a bad factor too. It depends. You don't get a chance for people to hear you. Right. You got to let them breathe a little bit. Yeah. So let's talk about your style of music, right? What would you call? Because you know, if you sing, you know, it could be characterized as R and B, right? Mm -hmm. But do you have your own style or own genre? Would you say? No, nah, man. I mean, uh, R and B is full of love and soul. You know, we all we all pretty much try to capture the same. Uh, we try to capture the same crowd, whoever loves R&B. Yeah. You know what I mean? Rhythm and blues. Please you bring know? that real deal R&B bike. Hey, you know? bike. And I've been, that's, <laughs> that's really, that's really what I've been doing. You know, I've been, I've been focused on the sound, the grabbing people's attention again. Yeah, know? where we feel it in our soul. I got you right <laughs> where I want you. Girl, take off your clothes. See, he did that. I want you exposed <laughs> so we can do the most. And I saw, I mean, I just want to make people feel good again. You got to be able to cut music on and be able to chill again. You Listen, know? I, I'm, I'm an old soul because I'm an OG. And I came from an era where like 90s and early 2000s was my heavy era of mm -hmm. falling in love with R&B music right. and you know, I love what's coming out now, but I think they've gotten away from that sound. And who I just was, who was who was some of your who was some of your your artists at that time. Like, so back in doing? the '90s, you know, I was like Black Street, and I was uh, H Town. I was Jodeci, mm, and oh. I was Aaliyah. Like huh? You ain't like Silk? Oh, of course, okay, absolutely. Yeah. There's there's a meeting in my bedroom. Uh, I may have got pregnant off that. I don't ooh, know. <laughs> looking at my road, girl, I see it's almost time. Yeah, that was, them, them boys were serious. Back yes, then. Tank, love me some Tank. You know, there's just so there's a lot out there. You know, um, gosh, who else? I don't know. There's so many of them out there. Drew Hill and a lot Drew of Hill the greats. Very, they, they was they was definitely dope, man. Yeah. Yeah, big but. facts, and of course MJ, one of the he. I wouldn't really consider he's more pop, but mm. one of the greatest ever to do it. Absolutely, I don't think nobody will ever be able to put a stamp on that. We Never. got we got our, our our Michael Jackson is Chris Brown today. I'm gonna tell you that now. I I completely agree. Absolutely, That's the only Michael Jackson. Well, yeah, he's Michael Jackson. Usher's right a now. good runner up too. I I'm a big fan of Usher. Usher is Usher. <laughs> Chris Brown is like a ninja. He's <laughs> just everywhere with it. You no, know, but. When people tap in and listen to your music for the first time, what do you want them to feel? What do you want them to capture? What do you want them to get from your music? I want people to, I want my music to always be timeless. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want, when you hear me, you got to slap me on the playlist afterwards. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's what, that's my whole, 
sound. I always try to, everything to me is a single. Yeah. You know what I mean? I could, I can go in the studio today and it has to be a single when I'm done with it. So I try to make sure that every, everything that I release is something that people won't press the fast forward button. Right. They're not going to skip on to the next record. <laughs> yeah. But I think yeah. that's what's so dope about R&B music because honestly, I think R&B, majority of it is timeless. There's trap music tends to be more trendy. I feel like I feel like now though, you know, people trying to steal R and B and turn it into something else. You know what I mean? Because you got the trap music that sound like R and B because they're being a little melodic and using yeah, a lot man. of auto tune. And, and that's what I'm. That's <laughs> where that's where you know, that's where I stop it at. You know what I mean? We real vocalists. Yeah. Would so. you ever tap into another genre? As far as like um like rapping or something like that. Well, not even necessarily rap, you know, like well, I mean, maybe yeah, pop I'm or... A, I'm a writer, so I'm already... My music is not, like, one-sided. Yeah. You know what I mean? I love rock. That, I love pop. You know what I mean? One of my favorite groups is Maroon 5. Like, okay. I really got to work with these guys. I love so, that you're so diverse. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? I, I just like music. I can I can be an opera singer. You, I, you yeah, should so be. Serious. So you should be. be in the bathroom doing some of the craziest stuff. <laughs> One of my favorite groups is Pink Floyd. Mm, see? Dark Side of the Moon. I took my dad to the con to a Pink Floyd concert, and it was the best experience I probably ever had. I've been to a lot of rap concerts. Man, Pink Floyd really knew how to put on a show. Yeah. I you, love rock and roll. You can still uh, listen to it to this day, and it still sounds amazing. Right. This, that's what I mean by timeless. Yeah, and that's what you're producing. That's exactly what I'm producing. I want people to cut the music on and, and be able to cut it on again and again and again. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Who would be a dream collab for you? A dream collab? Wow. I want to work with Tank right now, man. Right now, that's a real dream. For Let's me. make that happen. Ace Happington. Tank. Come on, Big right. Ball. Let's go. Like Ace Come on, Tank. We're going to tag him. <laughs> I've, been, I've been on a... Um, I've been on my own journey to where I've been just watching a lot of people. Yeah. You know, and now that I'm in a position and opportunity to bump shoulders and be around these people, then it's, it's you know, it's my goal. But I really do want to work with a lot of these artists as well. Ty Dolla Sign. Yeah. I think he's very underrated. I, I totally agree. I think Ty Dolla Sign is very underrated, man. And um, he's, he's a really dope artist. His sound is impeccable. He plays every single instrument. And you know, you know what what's I mean? so dope is... That you are right there with them. Right. I just heard right. you sing a couple times. You could run right with those guys. I appreciate Not that. Not behind them, but right next to them. That's what's up, man. That's what I'm here for. Yes. That's what I'm here for. The talent is definitely there. Now, let's take music and film out the equation. Outside of that, what else are you into? And it could be whether you enjoy doing stuff personally or other business ventures. Whatever. You know what? I'm definitely tapping into entrepreneurship. I'm around a lot. A lot of big businessmen, you know what I mean? A lot of uh, business women that I just got my eye in a, in a whole nother uh, capacity of the world, man. It's, it's so much out here. Yeah. It's so much out here. You know, I'm a father as well, so I make sure that my, my three boys look up to me a different way. When you have kids, it becomes way bigger than you. Yeah, man. My 12-year-old looking at me every day like, yo, what's next? Oh, yeah, because he's, he's now becoming a young man. Absolutely. So, so you have to be mindful of every move you make because he's watching and paying attention. That's right. That's right. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, um, I'm into some of everything right now. You know, uh, the sky is the limit. Yeah. That's the truth. The <laughs> sky is the limit. You know, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not walking away from no opportunities that could take me to the next level. Absolutely. We have to not only go out there and seek opportunities, but we have to create them as well. Absolutely. And I'm, you know, I've been around this guy, Big Vaughn, for a while with the whole seek what you speak. Yeah. I mean, speak what you seek until you see what you said. And, you know, that's, that's, that's real. That's real. We manifest some of everything around us. And I've been, I've really been on that lately. You know what I mean? Energy and everything. Everything that I do has to be based off energy. Absolutely. I'm around. All of it. So, Energy cannot be destroyed. It can be transferred, mm -hmm. but you can't destroy it. So, therefore, you have to make sure you're surrounding yourself people that have positive vibes, positive energy. Yeah. Because if I pull up on you and I got this negative-ass energy. I'm out. 
You don't. You're never going to rise up like that. Nope. Okay. It just. It just can't happen. I don't even like the feeling. Yeah. You know what I mean. You gotta be. You gotta be able to breathe and 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 see and and hear and and you can't do that if you're in the cloud. Absolutely. Can't do that in the cloud. So. So you got this brand new single out. Pulling up. Pulling up. Produced let's, by Dre Butters. Let's talk about that a little bit more because that's the current campaign it's brand new freshly released Absolutely, hot off the press man. um how we did got, this concept for this record come together we needed something that was gonna make the people dance you know all of my music is kind of subtle and you know uh mood 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 developing yeah it's I mood music that, yeah i needed so we needed something that was gonna get the people dancing and i was gonna also show them that you know, I, I can sing a little bit faster than what I was. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I but can no, speed it up a little bit. No, nah, man, we just needed a dope hit that was going to get the people moving. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, Pull and it that's up. what it was. And Dre Butters was, like, knocking everything down at that time, too, man. He was producing for some of everybody. Chris Brown, K. Michelle, you know. Uh, Von, Von called me and told me, look, man, we got to go get something from somebody that's go make the people move. And we held on to that song for a while. Is there going to be a visual in the works? Oh, uh, yeah. We got a video done already. It's already done. It's already done. Got Big Groove in the video. Oh, that's dope. And they're dancing, going yeah, crazy. Yeah. He, yeah. He's a whole vibe. Oh, man. That dude's silly. He's fun. He's cool. Shout out to Big Groove, man. I got to meet him. Like, he just looks like he's a big ball of fun. <laughs> you won't believe how many. Look, the whole time. I'm talking about the whole time we was together, man. Everywhere we went, we danced. I, I Listen, I love it because... He may probably changes people's day around. He, he makes changes, them happy. He makes people happy because he's not afraid to make you happy. I love that. I'm talking about if you hear music and he like it, he's going to dance. He's a gem. He is. He's God's gift he to is. us. It's, Absolutely. This is, true. this is true, man. He's good. He's good energy. That is amazing. So, yeah, you know, it was shot by uh, Tay, the director. Um, it's coming soon. Right now we focused on uh, letting the audio just, you know, uh, gravitate to the people absolutely I'm yeah like, we gonna give you the video when y'all want it right you gotta show us y'all want the video man so i need everybody to go stream that <laughs> y'all gotta go stream that. run them streams up run you them guys streams up. it's out everywhere it's nowhere you can't get it tell them the name of the film again toxanity toxanity and, and you can't forget it because it that 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 name itself that title itself is it stands out who else ever said toxicity to you no I, they haven't <laughs> i love it so i mean <laughs> the name itself man is gonna make you want to just you know understand what it is and that that whole name itself is about um this is this is not just one film yeah you know it's a, it's a collaboration of films because toxicity is uh, uh based on different situations got you toxic situations so right now it's on youtube but soon it'll be on tubi and some other networks on, as well on, on, on the biggest networks man Absolutely. that is amazing again congratulations to you guys on that that's a Thank big you. big move really that's a power move that. right there really appreciate that what else can we expect to see from you coming up you know we'll say between now and the end of the year now in the end of the year man we just move i'm ready for uh, uh hopefully next year hopefully next well by the end of the year I don't know, man. Y'all just got to stay, stay tuned. Stay yeah. <laughs> tuned. I mean, just stay tuned because we moving. Yeah. Every day. You know, every day we, 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 we trying to do whatever it takes to get to the next level. So I love that. And I'm working with the people that want to work. Yes. You know what I mean? That's a huge part of it because if you have people around you that are stalling, it's going to really put you in a bad place. Yeah, man. But you got the greatest with you. Shout out definitely. to Big Vaughn. <laughs> Shout out to the big homie, Big Vaughn. Man. <laughs> Real talk. Most definitely. Well, listen, um, what I want you to do right now before we get into your social media, I know you have a lot of people that are really supporting you, including your grandmother and, you know, Big Vaughn and probably other people. Absolutely. What do you want to say to them right now? Well, I mean, I, I definitely can give a, a, a few shout outs to the people out here that's, you know, been pushing me to the next level, man. You know, people like my homie Kayla. Shout out to my homie Kayla, man. Uh, shout out to my moms. Yeah. She always, you know, got some good energy for me as well. You know, shout out to uh, Tiger Eyes. Shout out to my lady Tiger Eyes, man. She's a great uh, um, a creative director. Amazing. You know what I'm saying? She makes sure, you know, I'm, I'm on my things. You got to have a good woman in your corner. She's a great woman. She makes sure these other women ain't trying to 
you know, get at me and none of that stuff. I know too, that's man. right. You know? Shout out to you, sis. <laughs> For real. You know, it's a lot of people around me that um, I, I want them around. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because a, a lot of this gets very overwhelming. Yes. You know what I mean? So it's not always the family that can that can push you, you know, because they don't always support. Got a lot of family that don't support. Got a lot of fake friends that don't support. So well, Yeah, one thing that I really learned is uh, a lot of times it's the people wearing the same jersey as you. Who are your biggest ops? Yeah, man. You know, so but that's you know why what? you got to have the right people. You know, I prayed about prayed about uh, keeping keeping those type of people away from me a long time, and I I woke up and wasn't nobody around. And that's okay. <laughs> it's okay to start over sometimes. But that's okay, like you said, that's okay, man. So I, I def, like I said, shout out to everybody that want to see me, you know, go to the next level. But yeah. those of you who I definitely name, definitely appreciate y'all. Absolutely. Definitely. Where can people follow you and keep up with your movement? Make sure y'all follow me on all of my social media. Uh, Instagram, The Real Marcel Anthony, TikTok, uh, what else? TikTok, Facebook, um, Twitter, all of it. Marcel Anthony. Google me, you go find me. Dope. <laughs> you go find me. I know that's right. He's Googleable, y'all. Finally. And he's in talk, toxic, is it talk? Toxicity. Toxicity. I'm going to get it right. Toxicity. I, <laughs> I got to put it on my phone because I told you my short term memory a little shot. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming over there. I don't do no drugs. I swear. It's just, <laughs> I'm just getting old. <laughs> it happens, man. We forget. No, you're just busy. That's what it is. Your, your, your mind is always moving. It is. And that's why I have a hard time falling asleep at night because I lay there sometimes literally it'll be an hour or two hours later and I'm still awake because I'm always thinking about my next move and what I should of anxiety yeah it yeah. does i've been That's what it is i've had anxiety points in my life and i you know sometimes i get in my own way yeah shout out to the people that know they got anxiety yes gotta because know how to, gotta know how to tackle that man because uh that is a, a frame that is a, a a mind state that can you know really distract you from from being great yes i absolutely agree because i've actually i've battled with that for a long time a lot yeah Last but not least, and this is the most important question of the whole night, we are live on the industry's most wanted podcast. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to Marcel Anthony checking in. Shout out to you. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. What makes you the industry's most wanted? What makes me the industry's most wanted is that y'all don't have what I have to give. You know, y'all need to hear this music. Uh, R&B has been watered down now, and I'm bringing it back for y'all. You know, bringing sexy back. Y'all need y'all need the sex appeal. I got it for you. I mean, I'm I'm doing this for the ladies for sure. Definitely doing it for the ladies. So, one more time, give me some love. Boom! You. It was such a pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Shout out to Big Vaughn, man. Big Vaughn. Big Vaughn. <laughs> we about out of here, y'all. Yeah.